Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for the next episode of Ace of Diamond Act 2, this being the 33rd episode. Previous episode, we actually uh, caught up with a lot of teams, which I actually really like because lately, and most of the focus usually is on Sato, but it is nice always to you know, catch up with the other teams and see how our other teams are doing, of course, that we love. Maybe you guys don't like all the other teams, but I'm pretty big fans of like the other bigger you know, teams that we follow, like Yakushi, uh, May and the Boys, obviously, uh, Ichi Dai, like, teams like that. Like, I just like catching up with them and seeing, you know, how they're de doing and even giving some focus to some of their, you know, new first years uh, that are going with the school because we have obviously had a lot of focus on our first years, our new first years, so to even get a little bit of focus, right, or a little bit of mention of, you know, the first years, which they have talked about them before, uh, but to get more of that, right, is is pretty awesome. And, you know, we're still slowly, uh, you know, moving into the summer, which is going to be the big thing uh, here with Act 2 for sure. But, you know, we've had a lot of buildup. We've had a lot of, you know, character development so far um, with Act 2. We've had a lot of practice games. Obviously, we're going to have more of that. I think we we'll, we should be seeing Furia actually pitch in this episode. So I'm actually really looking forward uh, to that. But, you know, we're still... You know, in that gap, in, in that time, uh, you know, before the summer. So, you know, we're moving on with this 33rd episode of Act 2, everyone. We're going to get right into it and see what we got. We're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds, and we're going to get started in three, two, one, play. <clears throat> Sato and Hino. Sawamura pitching. Right on the outside corner. Nice pitch there. There's some movement on it. <laughs> A little bit of movement, it looked like. You, you think? <laughs> you think uh, at least they got it now right we definitely can't ignore a guy like this which there's already been you know people and spectators and reporters that have been keeping an eye on samura but more people are just starting to like you know g you know, get behind our boy right like oh man it's like about damn time yeah that's i think that's what a lot of us have been saying like he's starting to get the shine and the opportunity that he you know deserves and a lot of us, you you could debate that it should have happened a lot sooner. <laughs> but, I mean, at least we're at this point, you know? Like, at least it's happening. I'm really looking forward to see how Faria pitches in this episode. Even though it's a practice game, right? It's, it's going to be his first time pitching, you know, right? So I think since coming off of the uh, the injury. So. <laughs> some days, uh, you know, some numbers are working. Some days, uh, are. <laughs> Ooh. Working the insides and the outsides. Cause yeah, if you if you got that fastball going, oh my god, it opens up for like so many other you know, pitches, right? To try and get the batter. One point seventeen ERA against those schools. Like, that's that's a really good uh ERA, man. Like Hell yeah. Especially in high school. Like, that's... Dude, and imagine if... Like, because he's only going to get better, right? Obviously, we've been saying this. You know, but he's going to get more consistent, more confident with the numbers 
right? Oh, dude. Yep. He like, wait, yeah. He's took this opportunity, this, this, you, you, and just ran with it. Oh, man. Against them. <laughs> and he's got to be pitching more. For sure. So, Okamura, yeah, Okamura, that was what they were talking about in the previous episode. Uh, Okamura is going to be catching for Furia. Ajun, he just called him. Wait, did he actually just call him that? <laughs> he brightens the team an inspiration for him in this time. Oh. <laughs> But to give, like, right before, Furia would have never, like, said something like that about Salamura, right? You know, he, so you can obviously tell there is change there with him saying that. Like, you know, like, he called him Ajun, too. Like, and Okamura is the same way. I was just about to say that, actually. Like, they're both on the second string right now, but they're both trying to get into the first string. You know, Furia get back into the first string, but Okamura get there for this for the first time. So I kind of like this uh, this dynamic. Zero runs allowed. That's that's awesome. Samura still right that ERA. <laughs> It's still like around one. Yo, when you combine, obviously combine with all the other practice games, it's gonna even go lower, right? After after this one, he was what one point seventeen, so fourteen wins in a row. They are on fire right now, <laughs> and it's at a perfect time too to go into going into the summer. Tojo closed out nicely. Like to see that. He only gave up, what, one run? And here we got Furia. Here we go. This is what I was really looking forward to in this in this episode. Camaro, work with him, my boy. Set, you know, set him up nicely. Set him up nicely. <laughs> Time. Want to focus on technique as much as results. Furia just, like, you know, this man has changed. Like, you can just see it <laughs> and hear it, obviously. <laughs> like, his mindset is just, he's in a better place, I feel like, now mentally, man. With all these, like, you know, things playing an effect on it, for, you know, in a positive way. I never get sick of them showing this, man. Because <laughs> they showed it a lot, you know, the, you know, 
all these, like I said, like I was saying, all these factors that have played into helping kind of change his mind state <laughs> for the better. <laughs> See if Furia gets back into the Dude, it's gonna be scary, man. It's it's gonna be a process though. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Zono. You'd probably pop up in the left field, my boy. Even though he has been hitting better lately, but <laughs> But if we have Salamura and Furia like at their you know continuing to improve but at their best current you know their best selves right now, that's gonna be dangerous for every other team. <laughs> Try to get him to bite on that one. Yeah, he was up in the count to uh, O2, so. Oh, he's going to Yeah, it's still way ahead in the count. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, throw it to first. Yep. Got him. That looked like a splitter or something. Did it did it not? I mean, even if he doesn't catch it, right? Some of those balls in the dirt are hard to manage, but even if he like can get somewhat in front of it, right? To where it doesn't go flying away somewhere. Like, he still was relatively in front of it, you know? <laughs> it was a... Okay, it was a splitter. That's what it looked like to me. Just the... the obviously, the grip. And then the... Um, you know, the, the movement... <laughs> See, this is why I like the Okamura and Furia dynamic. Although, it, you know, with how they're setting up for it, put on a decent show for his return. That's that's good. Nine to what was it? Nine to two. But uh. Yeah, like, obviously, they're setting up for the future, like, Okamura and Samura, I feel like, and then maybe Yui and Furia, or who, who knows. But for now, I do like the, you know, just for the positions that Okamura and Furia are in, I like the dynamic right now. Double play. Double play. This is opportunities, man. And th this was like the previous episode, like the hunger. That was the title of the episode. Like the hunger is just from all, a lot of it, a lot of the teams, but our team especially is at a high, man. 
everyone's fired up. Fifteen straight wins. Kawakami getting some action. Yep. Freaking love Kawakami, man. Like I've always said, I wish he could get more shine, but it's just, it's hard, right? When you have Furia and Sabra, like. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's sweet, man. That is sweet. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my goodness. Seventeen games, man. <laughs> it just keeps on just keeps on going. An all star game. Oh, we're not going to see like Sana. We'll st we're still going to see some. <laughs> we're still going to see some really good players here, obviously. 18 players for the Tokyo All Star team. Inishiro sending four. Ooh. Joint practices. I mean, an All Star game. Like. Oh, this is cool. This is cool, man. May and uh, in Miyuki. <laughs> Dude. That's still going to be really, uh, it's kind of hype, but really interesting, too, to see how that's going to be just a team of like great you know high school baseball players you know just third years man right now granted now like everyone's not going to be there everyone we probably would want to be there but still <laughs> that's cool About the first years who are joining the first string. Ah, uh, they gonna they gonna save this for another time or something? They are just gonna tease at that? Yeah, take you know, take it easy. Yeah, don't push yourself. This is you know, it's a process, right? Not really in a hurry right now. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know what they say, closed mouth doesn't get fed. Like you know, speak up, you're, you're they're speaking up and saying something, right? They're 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 here for them. <laughs> but also for their own 
you know, for themselves too. Scared. It's like he was hitting me with his raw emotions and not holding back. All that, just like a wave of <laughs> with each ball. At least he's being real and honest with himself. <laughs> this is just firing him up, right? This is... Yo, I love the shine they're giving Okamura, man. Out of all the first years, right? He's definitely got the most shine and the best shine. He's going to be there, man. Perea would rejoin the first string, Okamura and Seto as well. Oh, shit. Right, I like I like how they put that. <laughs> He's he, he, Okamura is definitely a lot more mature than Miyuki was when he was a first year. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo! Now they can up. Uh, <laughs> now he can throw to him right now. <laughs> Even if you want to, <laughs> whenever, like. <laughs> I'm happy for Seto too, man. A nice uh, Okamura shine there at the end. Again. <laughs> Heat transfer. That was uh that was really good, man. That was really good. Especially with Okamura there. I wonder if we're gonna have anything after the E D. It looks like we uh, looks like we might. For for once. Actually. <laughs> Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> no, I don't think there's any recap. So we're good. Um, so yeah, man, this episode, Ace of Diamond, um, really good stuff. It's good to see Fury out there pitching again. Actually pitched a really solid game, right, in his game back. You know, it wasn't anything like super spectacular, but you know, we are seeing those glimpses, right, of, of kind of the old Furia. New Furia, though, like mentally. Um, I would say there are still things, right, that are there from how he was before but i feel like a lot of these things um you know just because of this injury and you know because of the the um the slump right it's kind of 
uh, multiple factors. A lot of things have changed his mindset. Like the coach, you know, with the with the journal and with the goals thing, and you know, in telling him like what you know, what in your eyes is the best pitcher in Japan, in, you know, in Japan, in all of Japan. So him thinking about those things, a lot of other things as well. Him seeing Sawamura, like I mean, that thing with Sawamura, like he called him agent. Like, <laughs> no, that just you know, that just doesn't happen, right? But he's saying that he was an inspiration to him, and he, like that was big. That was a big scene um, in this episode. But not even like Sawamura, not even the coach, like a lot of other you know, people as well on the team that have impacted Furia's mind state for the better, definitely. So. Really good stuff with Faria, and, and and like what I was saying, like it's only a process. Like he's just getting back into it. You'll no need to rush. You'll take take it easy right now, right until he's back. You'll in, into that rhythm, back. You'll fully a hundred percent. It seems like he is a hundred percent now, but you know with him just coming off of the injury, I'm saying like you know get it to a point to where you know he can pitch you know a full game, right without any worry or anything like that. So I like the approach they're taking with it. They're like kind of limiting his pitches and limiting his reps and whatnot. So, you know, that's that's good stuff. I like to see that with Furia. So once again, though, our our, t- our teams, um, our team, but the you know what I mean, like the teams from all the games, you know, all around, like the side teams and whatnot, everyone's just, you know, what are we on, a 17-game win streak or something like that now? So hopefully we can keep it up with Miyuki going. Um, like for the all-star game and all that, which is actually probably going to be pretty cool. So I want to see that. I don't know if we're actually going to see that or not. I hope we do. Oh my gosh. If they're going to have May and Miyuki, you know, even if they're not pitching and catching, even if they're not forming a battery, just like the interactions, I would be fine with that, but I would love to see that too. So, and they're going up against like a, an American team. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, you know, man, just continuing to build up, you know, build on these characters, um, the first years and our characters as well. It's just kind of been what Ace of Diamond has been lately, right? I mean, this is just another kind of episode um, in that way. But we're getting closer and closer, right, to to the summer where, you know, it's it, like the last like 20 episodes or so, the last 15, 20 episodes or so are probably going to be like some some really good stuff. At least I'm anticipating or hoping for uh, it to be so. Yeah, man. Um, great stuff with this episode, as always. I mean, that this, you know, this is Ace of Diamond. We're we're this far in. Like, if we weren't enjoying it by by now, we we would have been done with it a long time ago, man. So it's just kind of like the same old, same old, you know. So good Okamura shine in here too. Forgot to mention. Oh, I did say that like a million times already. But uh, yeah, that about does it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy my reaction to this one, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.